What's up guys and welcome back with some more Genshin Impact and today we are here with the 2.4 update and we are doing the brand new Archon Quest. The Crane Returns on the Wind. So if you enjoy this video be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new and even hit that notification bell as it helps out a lot. And we are going to get straight into this. I'm very excited for this Archon Quest. It should be a good one. So we're going to have to go to Yudin Jin Terrace to listen to Ningguang's speech. Liyue Harbor is all abuzz with the news of the Jade Chamber rebuilding. Go to Eugene Harris and ask Ningguang for the details. So yeah, here we go. And yeah, we did get the ka outfit. Brand new ka outfit looking very nice. I had to. Like, I already have a good built ka so it was sort of a must for me. But if you're wondering, as of this recording right now, no, we don't have Shen. Shen right now we do not the polls uh i was getting ito flashbacks let's just say that that's how those polls were going but do not fear for shenhua will be on our team eventually <laughs> before this update ends i'll have shenhua on the team for sure but let's get to the task at hand which is ningguang I have gathered everyone here today to make an important announcement. Take it away. Perhaps some of you will have heard the news already. I am, in fact, planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Hallelujah. Rebuild the Jade Chamber? That's rebuild the Jade Chamber? <laughs> yeah. So the rumors are true. No wonder the price of building materials has gone up so much lately. Mm -hmm. The Jade Chamber means a lot to Lady Ningguang. Getting involved in this would be a huge opportunity. Mm -hmm. Lady Ningguang, is there any way we can be? Do you need a physical help, or do you need money? Well, I doubt you need money. Since the news actually. made it out a few days ago, I have already had many people contacting me to declare an interest in joining the project. Nevertheless, I do have a few matters I should like to entrust to you here today. Okay. The building site has been chosen, and most of the materials have been assembled. Three key items are. However, still outstanding. Okay. They are as follows. Sunset Vermilionite, Wonder Cores, and Adepti Sigils. <laughs> She's shaking her head. No. Uh, excuse my ignorance, Lady Ningguang. I, I'm familiar enough with Plostrite, but I've never even heard of those other two. Mm. Only sufficiently large pieces of Plostrite or specifically, Vermilionite, may earn themselves the Sunset moniker. This stone is what allows the Jade Chamber to float. Wonder Cores, meanwhile, are the central components of the mechanical structure of the Jade Chamber. Adepti sigils serve as a means of integrating the mechanical devices with Adepti art. They are as indispensable as the mechanical core itself. Well, damn. Although these three items are rare, I trust that with your connections and capabilities, procuring them will not be a question of if, but of when. Man, she has a great voice. I take the <laughs> saying, time is money, more seriously than most. Efficiency is everything. I will pay a generous price for the materials that you find. And in addition, the first three people who collect all the materials will have the opportunity to ask me a question. Oh, wow. You may ask sure. me anything. And I will give Anything. you an honest answer. I trust that this means of compensation will be to everyone's I'm satisfaction. Sure you, you sure you want to do that, Ningguo? These things <laughs> won't be easy to get hold of. But if it, it means a chance to get some information on Liyue Harbor's development plan for next year, then it's the deal of a lifetime. Information from Lady Ningguang is priceless. Mm. Whoever gets to it first takes the market. Haha, <laughs> what a coincidence! I won't divulge too much, but I heard some murmurings about some plot strike just the other day. So excuse me all, but um I have some business to do. Right. Well there he goes, I guess. Oh, no. We better move quickly, or this opportunity will be snatched away from us. Alright, my guy, well, good luck to you. Building the Jade Chamber? This is a huge deal! Let's get involved! Maybe we'll get to ask Ningguang a question. Who knows? So you heard my announcement, did you? What do you think? Interested? Can I really ask you anything at all? 
Yes. Providing the question pertains to something I am knowledgeable about. <laughs> of course. All right, uh, maybe I could find out more about my sister. Yeah. That's probably a better idea than what we had in mind. Oh, that I had in mind. <laughs> Be short of Mora ever again. Yeah, we, we wish. Yeah. Of course. But how much information I share with you will depend on your performance. Well, I mean, we're going to beat everybody, but... a great deal of space. The abandoned mine outside the Golden House has been selected as the building site. Once you have collected the materials, please take them there. All right. I have other business to attend to now. Otherwise, I would gladly escort you to the site in person. When you do arrive, please seek out my secretary. Gotcha. Remember, this is a race against the clock. A rare opportunity presents itself to you. Do not let somebody else snatch it from your grasp. I would never. Ningguang seems super busy. Come on, we'd better get going. Yep, let's get started. Let us commence. First we gotta get out of Eugene Terrace. Uh, huh? Look, it seems like there's something kind of fishy going oh, on. Oh, I didn't expect there. her to be over here already. Ma'am, huh? you seem like an eminent and distinguished young lady to me. I can see that you're easily gonna win this procurement. Easily. Ping Wong has set up. As it happens, we have some information about the materials that I really think might interest you. Come on, let's find somewhere a little more private. We can get down to brass tacks. I don't think she's gonna do that. No, I don't need it. <laughs> uh, don't be like that. Hey, come on, don't go. Nah, she don't need you. She gone. <laughs> Why don't you just stand there after her? Oh, right. Yeah. Mm. Well, they're gonna get bodied by the time I see them again, huh? They're about to just be laid out on the floor. Ah, uh, yes. The crane returns on wind. This outfit is so nice. <laughs> they said they had some useful information. Information's just what we need right now. Let's follow them and see what we can find out. Paimon, you were sounding squeakier than usual. <laughs> I gotta say. <laughs> Alright. No stamina, no problem. I'll just walk. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> They over here? Ah, yes, they're here. We'll just jump straight in the middle of it, don't worry. <laughs> well, will you look at that, ma'am? Nowhere left to run. She's gonna throw you guys off of the platform that you're on. Don't worry, we're not bad guys. You give us some Mora, we give you a little info. Everybody's She away. gives you a beating, Boss, you go to the hospital. This. Look at her, the, the white hair, the... The energy she gives off, I, I'm telling you, there, there's something different about her. Yeah, she's gonna body you. So what? She's loaded. How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we just let money walk away from us, huh? I don't know, I don't gamble. You, I don't need your information. If you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a way that won't be so easy to forget. Well, you're gonna go to the gulag, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, come on, ma'am. She is gonna you send y'all straight to the to gulag. Me. I shouldn't have to spell this out to you. It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's about you taking out your money and handing it over and nobody getting hurt. Right. No more excuses! <sighs> I know you have money. I saw you. Yeah, I saw you. Strolling into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full of food and only taking a few bites. Then Shinyue Kiosk, then Wanmin Restaurant. Same story each time. Listen, she might just be a food reviewer. Okay, you ever seen Ratatouille before, eh? Then you're on your way again. How could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich, what's the loss to you in giving us a little spare change, huh? <sighs> she was gonna give y'all a knuckle sandwich. You about to have broken teeth. But here we are. Hmm. Perhaps. Uh, yes. Let's call it fate. She about to get out her stand oh, and it's I'm over. You he knows right. he could sense the stand what user. What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. 
We'll sue her for everything she's worth. <laughs> there they are. Oh, you again. <laughs> again. The Millilith. What, what, what are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? Mm -mm. You ought to mind your own business. I swear. I Silence. swear. How dare you threaten innocent civilians? You're coming with us. Yep. <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 don't be angry, sir. P please, <laughs> let me explain. Well, to the jail they go. Are you all right? Shen He. Shen He. Shen He. Oh, hello. Shen He. The character that people well, flipped out when they saw she didn't have a belly button anymore. Oh, I've heard about you two before. Thank you for helping to defuse the situation. Of course. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. I suspect smashing his head against the ground a handful of times <laughs> is all it would have taken to get him to surrender. I mean, that would have been cool to see. Also, her eyes. She has really nice looking eyes. Listen, I wouldn't have told anybody if she decided to dribble his head on the floor like a basketball. Have you not heard of the law, Shanna? No, apparently not. Oh. Really? So how exactly have you? Uh, what was that noise? That would be my stomach growling. Hmm, I haven't eaten enough. Well, why do you keep? Why do you keep taking one bite? ordering this and that and the other but only took a small bite of each dish then of course you're still hungry so anything in particular you're hungry for hmm chingson glaze lily violet grass these are my usuals excuse me those are all medical herbs you be eating plants hmm. medicinal herbs kind of hard to explain oh, i said medicinal anyway, i'm stupid pharmacy's <laughs> not far away let's take Shanghai Ah, yes, Boo Boo Pharmacy, so we could go see that dude. We can see that snake that talks again. And then realize we don't have any dendro characters in this game. You think Shenha might be an adeptus? I don't know, maybe. Seems like it's her first time in Liyue Harbor, and she doesn't seem to get how things work here. If she is an adeptus, that would explain everything. Mm-hmm. Boo Boo Pharmacy. here to buy some herbs? I do hope you brought your prescription. Never heard of it. Chingson, glaze lily, and violet grass, please. Half a pound of each. What the hell you eat that? What kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> oh, here you go. That's it is a lunch order. <laughs> That's what Thank it you. is, brother. She's really eating them! The hell? So she just munched on all of them? My hunger has now abated. Hm, thank you. How did they taste? Hmm, rather awful. Then why did you eat them? Though they were not completely devoid of sweet fragrance, after consuming a large quantity of them... This lady weird. ...is all that remains. So, how come you chow down on these and barely touch the restaurant food? Yeah, that's a good I question. I enough, Mora. Paimon would go to the fanciest restaurant in town and order a whole table of food. Yeah, I know you would. I definitely know you would eat everything. I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious. But should I return to the mountains, yearning for the food here shall only pose an obstacle to my continued spiritual development. Okay. Sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. If you say so. Return to the mountains. That proves it. Paimon knew she was an adeptus. Hmm. Enough about me. What are your plans from here? Uh, I gotta oh, go help right. Ningguang. Paimon almost forgot. We came out to take part in the Rebuild the Jade Chamber competition. Yep. And, and now we're probably super behind because we've been held up for so long. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> I see. I heard something about the contest when I was passing by. <laughs> really? Yep. You get to ask Ningguang any question you want if you win! It's a pretty good deal. Were you interested in the contest too, Shenhe? Oh no, Paimon's doing that. I came for the rebuilding <laughs> of the Jade Chamber. 
But until oh, this Lord. point, I had no intention of joining a contest. However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would now like to lend you my assistance. Oh, don't worry. I ask for nothing in return. All right. Wow, you really don't have to. But having an Adeptus help out will make things a whole lot easier, so... We welcome you to our team. Then let's not delay. I have a plan. All right, say less. You got a master plan, let's hear it. See what we can do. Yes, Paimon. Um, I am not sure whether or to what extent this plan can be classified as awesome. I do, however, believe it will be highly effective. Well, that's good enough we for me. We need to dispose of everyone who is currently ahead of us. Then, we alone shall become the victors. Yeah, let's just kill everybody. <laughs> not acceptable. Not by you know, I, I understand her style at this point. But I hear that competition is in essence about conflict and one-upmanship. Right. You're all about killing. Fair and square, okay? Uh -huh. Sunset for Justice for Gotham. That's what we're about. We can't kill. Let's start at the top of the list and work down. So, for plus right... I was wondering who I could hear arguing over there. So... Ah, Baizu. Baizu? How do you what do? Lady Ningguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. We're running low at the store, so I came out to fetch the ingredients personally. I see. Huh? How can Lady Ningguang need so much wound dressing all of a sudden? I'm not too sure. I did hear she's looking to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Maybe for its first aid on site? I didn't ask, though. Far be it from me to pry into my customer's personal affairs. Oh, of course. <laughs> and she also borrowed Chi-Chi. Meaning Boo Boo Pharmacy is very short-handed right now. I don't suppose any of you are looking for part-time work? No, can't say so. No, no. We've got other stuff to do. Um, while you're here, though, you seem to know a lot. Have you I just keep looking at that dendro vision. I'm just staring at it. <laughs> ah, the variety of plostrite used in the Jade Chamber, yes? There is some mention of it in the Seven Mountain Treatises. When activated, Sunset Vermilionite rises up all the way into the clouds. It's very rare indeed. Very rare. Hmm. As far as the records show, virtually all Sunset Vermilionite in existence has been mined and taken possession of. But the Feiyun Commerce Guild would know far more about this than I do. Okay then, let's go ask at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Alright. Let's do it. Thanks, Baizu. Baizu coming in clutch. You're quite welcome. Good luck to you all. And if there's anything further you need from me, just come to the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Of course. Boo Boo Pharmacy, best pharmacy, eh? Let us roll. Damn, this dude pretty tall. What the hell? We got a picture. All right, let's roll. Let us actually be able to play as him one day, and finally get a Dendro character in this game. But we probably won't get until Sumeru or Sumeru. However, the hell you say the freaking next region's name? Good lord. But yeah, we are on the move. All right, let's see what this dude over here wants. Master Sincho, thank goodness you're finally back. Oh, Zin Sincho, what the hell? Oh, why do I detect an urgency in your voice? The guild has had a whole string of strange orders in recently. Everyone's been completely caught off guard. Your mm -hmm. father gave me specific instructions to ask you to stay and help out if I happen to see you. I see. Have someone sort the orders by type for now. I'll deal with them myself shortly. All right. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, Master. With you on the job, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Hey, Xingqiu. Glad you're here. The homie. One of the what? best four stars in the game right here. Yeah, we need Traveler. some info, though. Paimon, please wait a moment. Okay. Shu, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being, and we'll discuss the matter of the guild's orders in more detail later on. Mm -hmm. Understood, Master Sinchio. Then I will leave you in peace. 
Alright, sounds good. Let us continue. I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? And how, pray tell, may I be of service? We in a competition. Have you ever heard of Sunset Vermilionite? Oh, I see. So you've entered Lady Ningguang's contest as well. Mm-hmm. Indeed, indeed. As well? Do you mean... The truth is, the Feiyun Commerce Guild is in possession of some Sunset Vermilionite, but only one piece. We are holding it on behalf of someone who has asked us to put it up for auction, and a lot of interested parties have already come to us inquiring about the price. Oh boy. At the end of the day, it all comes down to supply and demand. In this case, I'm guessing the final transaction price may be in excess of 500 million mora. 500 million mora? I don't even know if I've spent 500 million mora in general. That's a lot of mora, partner. Shoo. It's so expensive. Honestly, Can I get a friend I discount? I would recommend that you don't bother bidding on this one. The price is greatly inflated, and it's just not worth it. This competition crazy as hell. But without any sunset vermilionite, we're screwed. Don't panic. I don't suppose you ever heard of Sea Gazer? What the hell is that? Who? Duh. Never heard of them. Sea Gazer was once very close to Mountain Shaper. But if I am not mistaken, he has already passed away. Mm -hmm. Yes, precisely. I didn't know anyone else knew about him. According to records of drifting clouds, Seagazer once built an abode to store his rarest and most exquisite treasures, among which was some sunset vermilionite. After Seagazer passed, the abode was abandoned, and its location was lost to time. Luckily, I came into possession of a stack of folk history books just recently, they make some oblique references to this lost abode, and after cross-referencing them against each other, I'm now fairly certain that it is situated in the Leisha area. Alright. That's great! Um, but is it really okay for us to just go and take his treasure? Good question. Wouldn't it be a little, you know, disrespectful with him being an adeptus? <laughs> you needn't worry. As far as I understand, Seagazer was very open-minded. Even while he was alive, he wouldn't have let something like this bother him. Open-minded? I have not heard of Seagazer being described in this way before. May I ask where you read that? Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. Mm, yeah, j j just a rumor, oh, yeah, of course. Let's go. She's like, yeah, I ain't saying Jack. Let's go. Go work to do. Mm. There's something about this young lady that reminds me of a good friend of mine. Really? Oh, I almost forgot. Adepti abodes tend to have very ingenious designs, especially when it comes to their defense mechanisms. Plus, it's likely to be crawling with monsters after being abandoned for so long. So please, be very careful. I oh, will be fine, don't you worry okay. about it. We will be. Thanks, Xingqiu. Mm-hmm. Xingqiu, the homie. Alright. So we gotta head over there, so we'll just do a quick little teleport. Easy. And then just hop on down. And we'll be good. It's so refreshing to see like a new outfit on Kaching now. Jesus. I think everybody needs an outfit in this game already. Lordy. Okay. I didn't know if I was going to die from that. <laughs> I was about to see. Oh, just wait. What the hell? You just made it start raining? Hmm. This place was hidden using a special Adepti art. But now that I have removed it, we can inspect the area more closely. Told you, she knows what she's doing. Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around! Mm-hmm. That it is. I haven't chased one of these. Like, I haven't chased the Sealy in so long. It has been, like, a crazy amount of time since I've chased one of these things. Sheesh. Alright, let's see where this thing goes. Ah, secret waterfall place? Yes. 
All right, so Geo, Fire, and Ice at once. Ugh. Well, I wanted to use the new Kaching skin in there. So I could just do... Could do a little bit of... Where the hell's Rosaria? This? I hear you've got a job for me. Yeah, we could, we could just do this for the time being. Not typically something I would do, but hey. Just in case. Things getting a little bit trippy. Oh, so many clouds. It feels like we're high up in the sky. Mm-hmm. Mm. I believe this is the abode of that adeptus. With any luck, the sunset vermilionite we're looking for should be in here. Really? Let Paimon see. Huh? Isn't that the Sealy from before? That it is again. Look, it's gone and snuck beneath the clouds. And now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rocks and trees here don't seem complete. Oh, could there be something below the clouds? What do you think, Shenny? Or Shen? What? These are not real clouds. They are the product of an adepti art used for spatial partitioning. For what do you want? If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintaining the adepti art. All right. All right, then let's do it. I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know where they are hiding, so we'd better be careful. Alright, let's do it. Oh yeah, I just realized I could have I could have just kept Zenchu. I could have kept him on the team, because we were gonna have Shenhua. So yeah, let me actually play a Shenhua a little bit, see how she feels. Okay. Ooh, I I like that dash, and then when you hold on to it, it does that. So a quick burst or whatever. Well, not burst, because the burst is the alt in this game. So the quick little, like, move okay. like this, that's a dash. And then the other one you hold on. Okay, yeah, I, I, I like how she feels. Not gonna lie, and she's got her spear. Right now, we have none. <laughs> we have neither of these things, but we'll get there. Hello, Hillichars. How do you do? If you don't, Rosaria, what are, what are we doing? Actually, like, jeez. Alright, what do I need to do here? I'm gonna keep a pega. Do I need to hit this? I feel like I have something to do with this. Yep. And then, boom. Oh yeah, it's these mechanisms that I haven't seen in so long. Holy crap. Can I jump? Uh, there we go. Oh, Jesus. This is beautiful, though, at the same time. Look how beautiful this is. Wow. That is very, very nice. And the music. Very calming. Soothing. Music. Ah, yes. Oh, shoot, I almost messed up. Seems we're going this way next. Yeah, like stuff like this in Genshin, I really enjoy though. This is a completely different so atmosphere. Hmm. Manifest. Defeat the abode's barrier. All right. You can't run. I have no too way. many freaking teammates right now. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just flicking all over the place. Can I just run over there? Oh, this is weird. Look how good this looks. Wow. It appears that we've been taken for intruders. Mm. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? Do it. Body him. Take your true form. Obey. Do the quick little zip. Oh yeah, hotel. Get some screen time. My bad. <laughs> Try to get everybody on my team a little bit of screen time. I mean, Hu Tao will legit just burn through everything now. Not really much of competition. I will have order. Punishment. Cryo incarnate. Get that alt popping. Just start going Now's wild. Okay, so I see the stand just starts swinging. Let's 
just it stays in that one spot, huh? So if I do pop an alt, I have to make sure that the enemies are consistently there or lure enemies there. Alright, we good. Uh, excuse me? The mechanism is broken and the fog clears along with it. We're gonna be fine. We're good. Is everyone okay? Look, the has disappeared beneath the clouds again. We good, we like good. We go further down. But before that, let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Oh god. Oh. What the f Excuse me? I'm gonna pop the ult. I'm about to pop all these ults. Enjoy. We're gonna break this thing real quick. Don't worry. Nope. This is hotel time. It is crazy how freaking cracked my hotel is. Lord. Ruin guard, I see you staring at me. You wanna wake up there, pal? Yep. Let's do it. What do you think she's about to pull a Hulk smash? <laughs> yeah. We going. Oi. Luckily, there was a pool of water at the bottom. Otherwise, that could have ended very differently. <laughs> ah, we would have been fine. Mm -hmm. huh. Something looks different about this stone wall. Let's take a closer look. Yes, I touched the wall and it moved. Is about to be a puzzle? Something? What the hell? There we go. We looking good. I really do like her outfit though. Like I'm just getting to like look at it more. I think she looks great and she plays good, to be honest. So it's even more of a shame that we don't have the character right now because the pulls went so horrible. But don't worry, I got a Kaching constellation. C3 Kaching, by the way. It's a good thing that I'm playing as Kaching more, anyways. Okay, Kaching, you need to hit this. Freaking steroid beef lizard wants to pull up on the scene. Come here, my guy. Death. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, bro. Damn, if I had Zenshu, I could be freezing all these enemies. It's just I completely forgot they were going to put Shenhua on here. Because they always do that when new characters come out in the mission. They'll let you play as them. I don't know how I could forget something like that. So simple. <laughs> it doesn't matter, though. We're good. Who tell for the win, am I right? Excuse me? Boulder? Hello? Seely, where you going? What the hell? Look, over there! Could that be the Sunset Vermilion Knight? I would assume so. We could just run past the Seely at this point. Eh? Well, actually, you know, we're, we're still gonna have to guide it so it could go into whatever the hell's over there. So I don't want to go too fast. Give me some damn primos, please. Two primo gems, hell yeah. We rich boys. We filthy rich. Is this it? Is this the sunset vermilionite? Yeah, looks like it. It's so huge. So is the jade chamber. You asking me these questions I don't know the answer Pulse to. Pulse Strike doesn't float until it's activated. 
It may look different from most ordinary stones, but it weighs around the same amount. Really? Only after being activated does Plostrite reveal its true nature. Breaking free from the shackles of the mortal realm and ascending up into the heavens. Oh, I was almost poetic. Wow, Shenha. You seem to know everything about this. Yeah, she's pretty smart. Only because my master is fond of chatting about these things. The moment she has some time to spare, she'll come straight for me and start telling story after story. Mm. I don't care for her stories most of the time. I certainly didn't expect them to ever come in handy like this. I wonder who this master is. Hold on a sec. Paimon just realized something. What'd you realize? If we activate it here, there's no way we'll be able to get it back to the site, right? Heck, we'll be dragged up into the sky too. I mean, you can't land this thing? But if we don't activate it, how else are we gonna lift it? Uh... This rock must weigh well over a thousand pounds, surely? Yeah. Don't worry. I can handle the weight quite easily. The hell are you, the She-Hulk? Are you sure? Uh... Please don't worry. Yeah, I'm well aware <laughs> that a Plostrite sample this large must be highly valuable. I will be gentle with it and make sure it does not get damaged. I'm on meant you. My safety. Hmm. That's right. I'm unsure you can handle it and everything. But if something this heavy lands on you, you're gonna get yourself hurt, no matter who you are. You gotta be extra careful when lifting heavy objects. It's just kind of Yeah, don't get a hernia. <laughs> hmm. Is it now? Hmm. Well, Those then, eyes. I keep this Ah. Man, they nice. Okay, anyways. I'll go on ahead with the Plostrite. Let's meet at the building site later. Mm-hmm. She just lifts it up and leaves. How is Shenha able to carry that huge rock all by herself? Huh. Adepti super strength much? Just maybe. Yet. Let's go meet her at the building site. I need more primos. Come on, game. Don't do me like this. Zongli, what the f- <laughs> Don't do me like this. <laughs> Oh, we're out of here. But that was cool. Wow, like, just some areas in this game are just so beautiful. Like, stuff like this. Freaking Zongli. Just casually standing in there. Oh, good. Ka ching My bad. Alright, let's uh, teleport back. Um. Sure, why not? And I can switch back in the homie. Which I need to get him to level 90 anyways, but here. For justice. Yes, for justice. A lot of guards out here. It seems like there's more than usual. I mean, maybe there's not. Maybe there's always this many. I don't really walk around here too often. It's probably the same amount it always is. <laughs> Truthfully, I wouldn't know. I spend most of my time in Inazuma these days. We're going to be honest here. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. Yes. How can she lift that massive rock all by herself? She's got to be one of those adepti. Sure. Listen, you got to make sure you eat your vegetables like Popeye. That's oh what it was, brother. Adeptus, please give me your blessing so that in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful salary. Hmm. This really is top tier in size praying. and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. Congratulations, this item is approved for submission. Hallelujah. I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. May I take your name? My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. Yeah. <laughs> I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Thank you for that. Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plostrite specimen. You already know. But I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper. It's secretary. Of course, of course. <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary. What do you think of the rock we found? Pretty amazing, right? Mm-hmm. In truth, 
It is the finest piece of plastrite we have received so far. Glad you like it. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. Nice. As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to rest, you are welcome to stay there. Sounds good. Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still a lot of work to do on the building site. Shenhua, Shenhua. Just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? What kind of reaction is that? So strange. Aren't you happy about it? Probably doesn't really care too much. Whenever Paimon gets praised, Paimon can't help but hold their head up high and break into a big smile. You do that even when people aren't praising you. <laughs> what do you mean? I've had similar compliments before. They call me an adeptus, treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm set apart from the common folk. Yeah, cause that's how adept I are. At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive too. Way different than normal people. But uh, I am not- You're not an adeptus. Uh, Shenha? Are you all right? I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Uh, I'm just a little fatigued. Um, well, Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use, right? Let's go check in and take a rest. No need. I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate in silence. Yeah, that seems like something you'd want to do. You can't do that. You don't think she can handle herself? She just lifted a whole freaking boulder thingy. When you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down in a nice, comfy bed. Alright? Seriously, don't punish yourself like this. I mean, sure, I mean, we could enjoy the nice, you know, place that Ningguang rented. Okay. If you insist. Mm -hmm. Great! Now we're talking. Let's head to our hotel. Alright. They got some room service in his hotel? Better have a bunch of desserts or something. Well, knowing Paimon, she's gonna freaking eat them all. But regardless, hopefully it's nice. Oh, is it? Oh, these are the houses. You know, I was expecting something a little bit crazier. Not gonna lie. I was not expecting this. But I guess we take what we can get. Hi there! Checking in, are we? You're just in time. We only have two rooms left. Perfect. Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, we've had a constant stream of people in this area. And not just workers, either. Visitors, business people, tea sellers, all sorts. Yeah, I bet. So, business is booming for me today. Very few vacancies. Booming. You're lucky you got here when you did. Great! One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. The other room is just at the door on the left. Here are your keys. All right. Hope you enjoy your stay. Please excuse me. I'll leave you to it. Of course. Shenha, you should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside until the other room's ready. Paimon's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. <laughs> Paimon couldn't help but notice one of the guests walk in with a huge grilled chicken drumstick before. You about to eat some grass, like Shenhua. <laughs> Let's buy one for Shenhua too. She can have it as a midnight snack. Or save it for breakfast tomorrow. <sighs> Alright. I will head to my room for now. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. I will hear if you knock on the door. <laughs> okay. Have a good rest. Mm-hmm. See you tomorrow. Alright. It's been a while, it hasn't it? Let's go and say hi. Talk to Cloud Retainer. Cloud Retainer, you stay right there. I'm gonna be right over there, don't you worry. Yeah, it's been a while since we saw Cloud Retainer. <laughs> to the point that I forgot that bird's name was Cloud Retainer. For a while, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, hello. 
One trusts you have met Shen He. So, are you getting along quite well? Yeah, she's great. So far, so good. Yeah. So, you know Shen He too, Cloud Retainer? She's likely her master. Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue Harbor. All the Adepti living today are acquainted with Shen He, to some degree. Cool! So, what's her Adeptus name anyway? Calling her Shen He feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon's thinking, maybe it'd be better if we called her by her Adeptus name instead! Her Adeptus name? Why, pray tell, would Shen He have an Adeptus name? She's not an Adeptus. Title they go by? On this latter point, you are correct. However, Shen He is human. She's just cracked out strong. Oh, oh, right. Wait, what? I thought so, yep. What? You knew already? <sighs> so is Paimon the only one who didn't know? Of course. Do you mean to say that she presents differently from ordinary human beings? I mean, she's pretty strong when she eats grass. Yeah, like dribbling somebody's head on the floor like a basketball. Ah, yes. She was like this all those years ago when one first met her. In this respect, she has not changed. I see. One first found Shanha by chance in a cave. One was passing by and sensed the presence of a god's remains. Being of an ever-vigilant disposition, one entered immediately to inspect the scene. Inside was Shanha. Then aged around six years old, in her hand, she held a dagger with which she was confronting a monster that was the god's remains incarnate. That sounds so dangerous. When one arrived, she had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. Most mortal children are fragile, both physically and mentally and are highly reliant on their parents for survival, but not so her. Mm. That she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong willpower, but also to the bloodlust and homicidal instinct with which she was born. One dealt with the monster, yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even pointed her dagger in one's direction and remained ready to strike. Only after she was satisfied that one had no intention to cause her harm did she finally relent. She then passed out without uttering a single word. Sheesh. In other words, if you hadn't passed by that day, Shenhua might have... Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually receding. Even had the stalemate continued, one suspects that Shen He may have still emerged the victor of the confrontation. That's still so dangerous, though! Why was a tiny little kid battling against the wrath of a god in the <laughs> first place? Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. And she had experienced her fair share of this, even at a tender age. Seeing that she was homeless, one decided to adopt her. So when Shenhu talks about her master, she means... Indeed, it is one to whom she refers. Shenhu has an extraordinary constitution, making her well adapted to practicing the Adepti arts. All the Adepti cherished her talents, and so we were willing to train her. However, her homicidal urges did not subside with age. Rather, they grew stronger day by day. Moon Carver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of calamity. Consumed by malevolent energy, she is prone to bring harm to those around her. Such is the magnitude of the danger this poses, that her soul must be bound with red ropes to keep her homicidal instinct at bay. Well, yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a lot. 
That was quite a bit, yeah. The red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content. They also seem to have rendered her somewhat inexpressive. Perhaps the red ropes are so powerful that they have suppressed some of her other emotions. Well, as we can't well. exactly take the ropes off at the same time when she's just gonna go berserk, huh? It is only by fate hmm. that people's paths may cross. Now that Shen He's path has crossed with yours, please be sure to treasure the gift that fate has given you, and take good care of her. Of course. Oh, now Paimon gets it. You came out here to check up on Shen He because you were worried about her, didn't you? Huh. You dare draw such a facile <laughs> conclusion on the nature of one's present excursion. Incorrect. The truth is that while Liyue Harbor may seem peaceful today, danger is always lurking in the shadows. True. Ningguang once made a bold assertion that this is to be the era of the contract between Liyue and the humans. Well... One is most curious to observe how she will respond to the coming storm. The coming storm? If she handles it admirably, one is willing to be a witness to her achievements. But if she does not, the Adepti shall not hesitate to seize control. Let us conclude our conversation here for today. One has occupied enough of your time, and night is approaching. Be sure to get ample rest. All right. Well, that was quite the conversation. Isn't an adeptus after all. She just grew up around the adepti. Yep. Oh, my bad. Paimon was gonna say something, wasn't she? All right. Well, let's wait till eight. Get that beauty sleep in a nice rain, you know. All right. Let's get things started. Still raining. Um, hey! So, Shenhua? Master has relayed my situation to you, I take it. Uh huh. Oh? How did you know? Light sleeper? I'd intended to wait until you came back before going to sleep, but I didn't hear you come in. Mm. I was worried that something may have happened to you, so I went outside to check and caught sight of my master. On top of this, you have been acting very strangely around me this morning, causing me to suspect that my master must have told you everything about me. Yeah. After all, master is... very talkative. That's fair. <laughs> Sorry, Shenhua. Paimon had you down as an adeptus this whole time, but it turns out Paimon was wrong. Which is even crazier, because that shows how strong you are from just being a human and being able to do all this. Pretty wild. It's okay. I don't mind. The fault is mine for not explaining everything to you sooner. Because in my experience, trying to explain is a futile pursuit. Still, though you mistook me for an adeptus, you never treated me as distant and unapproachable. Instead, you treated me as you would a friend. For this, I am very grateful indeed. To be fair, we've met our fair share of real adepti too. That is true. Anyway, now it's settled. From now on, you're our friend. Whether hmm. you're an adeptus or a human isn't the important thing. First and foremost, we're just plain old friends. Got it. Although I don't know quite what it entails in terms of what I have to do, I must say I like the title friend very much indeed. Great! Well, now that we're all rested up, we should start searching for the other two items on the list. Oh, right. We still gotta get those. But before we do that, let's go to the building site and ask Ningguang's little helper how the progress is going. Good idea, good idea. After all, Sunset Vermilionite is so rare. Paimon doubts many competitors will really be able to find any. If it turns out some of them have given up already, we'll be able to take things a little more slowly. Alright. Oh, and another thing. We bought some grilled chicken drumsticks on the way back last night. There was a place just outside. Here's one for you, Shenhua. Try it! 
They're so good. <laughs> I concur. It has a rich flavor. Far more agreeable than those I've cooked for myself in the wilderness in the past. Well, at least she enjoyed the food. I'm sure. Oh, it's Yunjin and Beto. What the hell? Look, look! The Jade Chamber is floating into the sky! Wow! But it seems to be tied down by something. Well, we can't let it go into space now, right? <laughs> That's because it's not finished. Mm-hmm. Hey, Violin! And hey, Beto! And hey! Um, person Paimon doesn't know? <laughs> The enormous scale of the Jade Chamber, we split the construction work into two phases to make sure the structure remains balanced. Before we find some suitable plostrite, we build the Jade Chamber's keel at ground level. Once the plostrite is ready, we place it into the That's keel crazy and let the partially constructed Jade Chamber rise up to the height of the surrounding mountain peaks. The remainder of the construction work is then carried out at that altitude. Once everything is ready, we release the iron tethers and allow the Jade Chamber to rise to its target altitude. Miss Bywin, we brought some new materials to submit. One moment, I'll be right there. The construction work has only been able to progress this rapidly thanks to the plostrite provided by you. Lady Ning Wong is most grateful and looks forward to seeing more of your work. Wow, can't believe you sourced the plostrite so quickly. It's the key piece of the puzzle. Looks like you beat us to the punch. Well, Shenhua on our team, it seems like anything's pretty easy. <laughs> Beto, you're joining the Jade Chamber Contest too? <laughs> sure am. I happened to get my hands on a chunk of Sunset Vermilionite on a voyage a while back, so I figured I'd bring it over. Huh. So even though it's rare, we're not the only ones who managed to get a hold of it. We were just the first one. Oh, I've got some introductions to do. This is the renowned Miss Yun, or Yun Jin, probably the most famous figure in the Liyue opera scene. Well then, nice to meet ya. Greetings. These two are Paimon and the Traveler, both good buddies of mine. And this is, um, sorry, I'm not sure we've met. Shenhe. I am there. Mm, friend. <laughs> good to meet ya. A friend of a friend is my friend too, or as I like to say, a mate of a crewmate is part of the crew. Miss Yun is also here for the contest. Turns out she needed to borrow a boat, so we came together. It's an honor to finally meet you both. I've heard much about you. Miss Shenhe, though we are only meeting for the first time, I have a feeling that we will get along very well indeed. Mm. To be honest with you all, I am in great need of this opportunity to ask Lady Ningguang a question. That's why I joined the contest. Thanks to my father's connections, I was able to acquire a specimen of the plostrite required. Fortunately, it was approved for submission, despite being a little on the diminutive side. The uh, what side? What does that mean? <laughs> wow. So it looks like the three of us are competitors now. Hmm. Excuse me for prying, Miss Shenhe. Are you competing as well? She's helping us. No, I don't have any questions for Ning Wong. I just wanted to help him win. In that case, I have a proposal to make. Lady Ning Wong said that the first three contestants to procure all three materials will be awarded the chance to ask a question. Well, there are three teams here. We can split the prize between us. Instead of competing against each other, we could work together. To secure the top three places between us. What do you think? Sounds great, but how does that change things exactly? <laughs> I think I see where you're going with this, Miss Yoon. The plostrite was the most difficult item to source by a long shot. Luckily, all three of us managed to get our hands on it. The two remaining items aren't quite so rare, so as long as one of us finds a way to source it, the other two can hop on the bandwagon. Okay. How'd I do? Is that what you had in mind? Precisely. Huh. Interesting approach. Okay then. All right. I'll go first. I have some leads on these wonder cores. From what I've heard, the core itself is really not that difficult to make. The hard part is getting hold of the ore used as raw materials. I'm gonna head back to the ship and ask Su Ling if he's heard of them. You guys... We will head into town and seek advice from Master Zhang of Hanfeng's Ironmongers. Thoughts? 
Well, sounds good. Let's go. Wonderful. We'll split into teams then, and whoever makes progress first brings all of us a step closer to victory. I'm gonna take off. See you later. All right. Let the uh, let the plan commence. Okay, let's go. By the way, what question are you gonna ask Mingguang Yunjin? You think she's gonna tell us? I'm looking for a venue to host the performance of our new opera. Lady Mingguang has excellent judgment, so I would like to hear her opinion. Okay, Ooh, makes sense. What's the opera called? Kaima wants to go see it. The opera is a labor of love by my father. He wrote it based on a popular urban legend about an evil spirit and an adeptus. It's called The Divine Damsel of Devastation. Divine Damsel of Devastation. Okay. Whoop. Let's go try to find out some information about them wonder cores, huh? Do a quick little teleport. The sun is out. Our work's done for the day. Shall we take a stroll? Take a stroll? We ain't taking no strolls. <laughs> we got work to do. Hmm? Ah, hello. Are you here <clears throat> for something off the shelf? Or do you need something forged? Excuse me, Master Zhang. We were wondering if you'd heard of something called a Wonder Core. Have you? Of course I have. Sorry, um, who's asking? <laughs> My name is Yunjin. Perhaps you don't know me, but I believe that you forged some weaponry for my father in the past for stage use. Yunjin? Stage use? Oh, so <clears throat> you must be Miss Yoon. <clears throat> Sorry, my brain's finally caught up. <sighs> it's not used to doing much beyond bashing a hammer all day. Fair enough. Everyone's heard of you, Miss Yoon. Even folks who don't make it to the opera all that often. <laughs> like myself. So, you're here to ask about wonder cores, huh? As it happens, I do know how to make them. Matter of fact, I made some for Lady Ningguang back when she was building the original Jade Chamber. Really? The types of ore needed to make wonder cores are a little hard to come by. Lady Ningguang supplied them herself last time. I don't suppose you've brought any yourselves? No, we were gonna ask you what kinds of ore we need. <laughs> sure. Well, you'll need two kinds. Star Splinter Iron and Subrosium. Subrosium? If I remember correctly, Lady Ningguang sourced her Star Splinter Iron from the Mount Tianhung area. They say it resonates with visions. Oh, okay. It could take some work, but if you stick with it, you'll find some eventually. As for the Subrosium, though, hmm, that's trickier. It's all but unheard of on the market. How about the black market? Uh, but where do we start, then? Uh, I'm really not sure. Sorry. What I've heard is that the people around Mount Tianhung have some sort of magic trick that can pinpoint the location of the stuff. Well, I guess we'll try there. Of course, it's probably just hearsay. If you want my advice, start by looking for Star Splinter Iron around Mount Tianhung. And if you run into any locals, ask them a few questions about Subrosium. Mount Tianhung... Interestingly enough, the story of the Divine Damsel of Devastation also takes place on that mountain. I hear the view there is quite spectacular. A favorite destination of the Adepti, in fact. Perhaps it can give me some inspiration. Let's not delay. We should head straight there. Let's do it. Alright, oh, well that's not too far. I thought it was going to be a little bit farther than what it was. I came to Mount Tianung once with my father as a child. I remember it being such a long climb that I could barely feel my legs by the time we reached the top. Sheesh. <laughs> this is quite a trip down memory lane for me. Look at these majestic towering peaks and the gently flowing streams. It's like setting foot in paradise. No wonder the legend of the Divine Damsel of Devastation is said to have taken place here. Adepti wander oft where mortals seldom stride. Indeed, this looks like a place that one might expect to be frequented by Adepti. The Divine Damsel of Devastation is your upcoming opera, right? And the story takes place in Mount Tianhang. 
Huh. Seems like you have a real connection with this place. What's the story about, though? It's the story of a girl becoming a hero. Cool. A hero story? They're Paimon's favorite! Hmm. <laughs> the legend first arose in this area. It is said that there used to be a prosperous village on the mountain. In that village, there was a loving couple who were completely devoted to one another. One day, a terrifying monster appeared. The wife was out collecting herbs and was captured by the monster. Her husband was so distraught at the news that it broke his spirit and drove him to madness. The vile and vicious monster told the villagers, if you want to live, you must sacrifice a child to me. In what? What a nasty piece of work! Ugh. Paimon sure hopes this monster gets put in its place! Yeah, okay, buddy. But the monster was so terrible and so strong that all within the village were terrified of it. They had no choice but to give in to the monster's demand. Just while they were discussing whose child would be given over to the monster, a little girl suddenly stood up and came forward. No! Don't do it, little girl! <laughs> you good, Paimon? Unbeknownst to anybody else, she was concealing an exorcist's blade. She approached the monster's lair, feigning fear and trepidation. When she finally arrived, she courageously drew her sword and entered into a fierce struggle with the monster, from which she eventually emerged as the victor. Her extraordinary abilities drew the attention of the Adepti, and they took her as one of their own. Oh. Her story became... <laughs> yeah, it just hit me. But alas, the paths of mortals and adepti seldom cross. They are talking about Shen the mortal world. That's why she's looking like that. And so, destined to grace the mortal realm for but a brief moment, she vanished like a wisp of smoke into thin air. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> but look at Shen Wu. I really like this story. Mm. But I personally think that perhaps the little girl was not as brave as the opera makes her out to be. Hmm. I'm not sure she deserves all the praise she is given. Hmm. I've never considered that before. Opera is always an interpretation of the events it purports to portray. A certain degree of deviation from the truth is always inevitable. True. When my father wrote the script for this play, I suppose his intention was to inspire the story is never 100% true. The character of the divine damsel. Hmm. I think it's a great story. The ideal story. Well, it sure inspired Paimon. <laughs> Paimon was about to shed a tear over there, but I get a bucket. Yeah. All right. Let's get what we need. Use visions to find the star splitter. Splinter iron. Uh. Alright, well, let's get to it. I ain't see Jack out here. Okay, wait. That was a geo sigil. Never mind. <laughs> Thought I found something for a second. Just some animal slimes. Anybody there? I might as well take this slime out. It's just gonna be in my way. How about up here? This is still in the circle, eh? Bingo, that's one. Yeah, I didn't really use my my vision to find that, but I mean, eh? we'll take it. But now I know what it looks like. So it's orange. Oh, wow. <laughs> speak of the devil. A village on our way here. Master Jong said we should ask the locals for help. Why don't we try there? All right, buddy, you got some info. Hey, there really is someone here. What's up, my dude? Yunjin, looks like you were right. Excuse us. 
sir. Can we ask you something? Watch him be like, hell no, get off my property. <gasps> you good, my guy? Huh. He didn't seem to catch that. Hello, sir. We were just passing by and wanted to ask if you happen to know anything about Sabrosium. Do you? <gasps> you good, my guy? Is he trying to tell us to look for clues in the village? He might be on some, some crack, I don't know. He he tripping a little bit. He on some DMT or something. Sorry, you can go ahead without me. I'd like to have a word with this gentleman. Okay. If that's okay with you, Uncle Ming Jin. Huh? It's... It's... Shen He. Shen He. You're alive. The rumors were true. So, all these years? I'm sorry, I don't know how to find Sabrosium. But I think you can find some information in the village. Okay. Uh, this place is deserted now. No one ever comes here. So you can rummage around all you want. Man, he sounds depressed. Huh? You know this guy, Shang Ha? Uh... Thank you, kind sir. We'll go and take Didn't a look Didn't want to around. pry into her business too much. Don't worry. Ming Jin has no ill intention towards Miss Shen He. She'll be quite safe. Okay. Then let's see what we can find in this village. Yeah, let's do it. And yeah, that was, uh, oof. That was some good voice acting. That's what that was. Alright. see what we can find. A branch family of exorcists used to live in the east of the village. village. Mount Tianhong. But in around two weeks, the mother died of disease. The young daughter went missing, and shortly after, the father hung himself on a tree in the yard of his own house. Oh, I didn't expect Genshin to have some stuff like that. Okay. It has been confirmed that traces of an evil god's remains were found in the village. The villagers are panicking as no one is certain whether the evil god's remains are gone for good. Do be careful when you are in this area. Well, that was dark. Does this mean that the true story of the divine damsel of devastation happened right here, in this village? The time frame certainly matches, so it seems we're in the right area. Let's keep looking around. Hmm. All right. Ah, yes, a potato. Huh. What's this? The doctor said you were gravely ill. Don't worry, I'll give you everything I have here to save you. My heart bleeds when I see you getting wearier, your illness beyond treatment. How I wish I could suffer the pain for you. You said you had no regrets in this life, and that you only wish for me to take good care of Shenhua. But you regret nothing. Why the tears? I don't know what I've been doing lately. Though I still breathe, I feel like an empty shell. I've read all the ancient texts I could get my hands on looking for ways to save you. But it is utterly futile. I finally found it. It was Mingjun. He had kept that book that he uh, could save you hidden. I took it and followed his instructions to summon a god and offer a sacrifice. The god appeared. I told him that I was willing to exchange my life for yours. He kept silent and only pointed at our daughter, Shenhu. The god said that fate, her fate was to bear the curse of calamity and that she was prone to bring harm to those close to her. The god also said that she might have even been the cause of your death. In that case, I thought I should. I left her in the cave, the god mentioned. Three days have passed and still no news. I grow restless from waiting, seized by an ominous feeling. I'm sorry, my love. Forgive me. You too, Shenhua. Please forgive me. How stupid was I? How blind? Let me apologize to both of you in person. Maybe this is the true story of the Divine Damsel of Devastation. So, Shenhua is the Divine Damsel? Now that I think about it, she does behave rather like an adeptus, and she is about the right age. So that's why I've been getting the strangest feeling whenever I chat with her. I should have noticed it earlier. According to this text, the divine damsel from the opera was actually the daughter of the loving couple. And 
she didn't volunteer. She was sacrificed to the monster by her own father. Yeah, that's pretty effed up. Oh. That's pretty effed up. The truth is even more lamentable than the opera. Now I understand why Shen He said the girl was not as brave as people think. It wasn't her choice to enter that ghastly situation. She was forced into it. Imagine being forced into that as a little kid, Jesus. Oh. It looks like my father may need to make a few revisions to his beloved opera. Yeah, don't say. Hmm. We've looked everywhere, but still no mention of Sabrosia. Yeah, all we found is freaking dark information, depression over here, Jesus. Time to act. Uh, there's more, oh boy. This is it. Okay, uh, magic engraved on Sabrosium does not wear off easily. Some believe the stone to be a bridge between the living and the dead. However, finding Sabrosium, uh, Sabrosium is no easy matter. You need to be at the right place at the right time. Legend has it that you can find it if you stand in the middle of the lake south of Mount Tanyang at dusk and look in the direction of the setting sun. So basically, we need to go to the middle of the lake south of Mount Tianhung at dusk, and we'll find us some Sabrosium! Sounds good. Let's go back and tell Shenhua the news! Mm-hmm. We finally got the info we needed, but at what cost? Jesus. Body and mind. The more info we find out about Shenhua, the more depressing it is. One year when I was back visiting, I heard a story about a white-haired adeptus from a merchant passing by. I never imagined it was you. I was a very close friend of your father's. I could have stopped him from performing the summoning ritual. I had plenty of chances, but I couldn't bring myself to stand up to him. I just let things happen, let it all escalate. And, well, we all know how that story ended. I bring flowers back here every year. And each time, I wish I had a chance to apologize to you. Apologize for what? If you'd stopped him, he'd only have found another way. There is nothing he wouldn't have done for his true love. Nothing. Do you still hate him? I don't know what I feel. I'm told my fate is to bear the curse of calamity, so my master bound my soul with red ropes to curb my aggression. But it also dampened my emotions making me dispassionate, like the Adepti. So if you ask me how I feel about the past, if I hate my father or not, the truth is, I feel nothing at all. Jeez. It must have been so tough for you all these years. Shenha, we're back! Oh, talk about weird timing, huh? Oh, then I will leave you all in peace. Shenha. It brings me some solace knowing that you are okay. I'll tell you more about the old times next time we meet. Thanks, mister. We found some info in the end. Alright. Well, back to the task at hand, I guess. Shenhua, look. This tells us how to find Sabrosium. All we gotta do is go to the middle of that lake. Hm. Let's go, then. Well, let's do it. Uh... Miss Shenha, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Just now, in the village, we found your father's diary. It turns out that many of the details in the Divine Damsel of Devastation are not true to the facts. So I'd like to change them. Why? I know I say that opera always deviates from the truth. But now that the main character is standing right here in front of me... I cannot simply dismiss your lived experience in favor of my father's fiction. It's okay. I like your version. Uh, mm. huh? My master once said that the day I learn how to use my strength for the good of others is the day that I can truly become part of human society. So, I hope that one day I might be brave enough to stand up and protect others just like the girl in the opera. But I've never thought this way before, and I wonder whether I will continue to think in this way. Don't worry. I believe you will. In fact, 
I think maybe you've already started to become the person you aspire to be. You just haven't had the opportunity to see it for yourself yet. Shinra! Yinjin! Cut the chicken! <laughs> Damn, they're having a nice moment. I get it, I get it. Can't let someone else beat us to it! Okay, Paimon, I'm about to throw you in the freaking oven. Jeez. I get it, I get it. I was letting them have a nice moment. Body and Jeez, there was character development. You over here, time on this, hurry up. I got you, I got you. Freaking hell. We're running out like two miles per hour over here. Go to the middle of the lake. Alright, Zongle. There we go. <laughs> Ah, there's some geese. Wait until evening around 17.30. Ah, yes. I will just hide. Alright, let's go over here. 17.30? How about 17.24? How does that work for ya? Is that a Zhao? What the hell am I seeing over there? Look for a Sabrosium. That, I'm pretty sure that's freaking Zhao. That silhouette I could tell from anywhere. Zhaoie boy, what you doing? Mind if I come up here? Like, what, the, what the hell? What brings you here? Have they found a solution to the danger in the sea? What danger in the sea? Ningguang didn't tell you. No. Something has happened in Guyan Stone Forest. According to the contract, as an adeptus, I should not get involved for now. Oh boy. But these things can be unpredictable. I have a contingency plan of my own. Uh, Zhao, what do you... Only a single mountain lies between here and Liyue Harbor. If things get out of control... I will defend this place myself. I wouldn't doubt it, brother. Well, that was weird. So something bad is coming for sure. Back to looking for Sabrosium, I guess. Right here. He's like, listen, if Ningguang F this up, I'm getting involved. Sick of this crap. Hopefully, we did our part, that's for sure. All we could do is hope that Ningguang, or not Ningguang, that Beto did her part. Which, oh, it's over there. Here we go. I'll just go up this way. It'll be way easier because then I can just run and then boom and then, yeah, there we go. Here, I got you your ore, brother, that you've been oh, waiting so desperately to get. Goodness. The goodness. So, are they okay? This is some top quality ore you found. I think I'll get a good end product out of these. Hell yeah. Guess now it's my time to shine. Go ahead. Hey, everyone. How's the A-team doing? Being the A-team as usual. I ran into a bit of a brick wall on my end. Mm. Suling's never seen a wonder core before, and says it'd take a lot of research for him to get up to speed. Wonderful. Leave the wonder cores to me. I'll work on them while you go about your business. Hallelujah. Don't worry. <laughs> it won't take me too long. Much obliged, Master Zhang. We should look into the Adepti sigils next, but where should we find items relating to the Adepti? I'll sort that out. Oh? Uh, you got this then? She got it. Yes. I have been training with the Adepti for years. I know a thing or two about making sigils. When we first met, I told you I came for the Jade Chamber, not the contest. Mm -hmm. In fact, I came specifically to deliver Adepti sigils. Master heard that Ning Wong was planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber, so she sent me to deliver some Adepti sigils to her. Nice, nice. Master also said she hoped that I can take this opportunity to rejoin human society. But now that I'm here, I wonder if I've been removed from the world for too long. There's so much basic knowledge that I lack. Maybe it won't work for me to stay here after all. 
But either way, I think she's doing I'm pretty good at this point, to be honest. I mean, other than the very beginning where she wanted to kill the guy, she's done better since then. Without Honestly. knowing the ins and outs of your situation, I can't say whether you should stay or not. But now that our paths have crossed, we'll always have a connection. So if you're ever feeling down, come find me on my ship. There'll be a drink waiting for you. Mm. Thank you. So, Master Zhang, I'll need to use your facilities to make the sigils. Fine by me. I'm actually curious to see how the Adepti Arts work. Maybe I'll learn something. Hmm. Alright, so they started making the Wonder Cores and the Adepti Sigils. Whew. The Sigils are ready. Though they are in some respects inferior to my masters, I can assure you there will be no quality issues. Good to hear. I've finished forging the things you asked for, too. Great! Let's go submit them before someone else gets there ahead of us. Let's do it. All right. Seems like everything is going extremely well, which means that things are probably going to get really bad pretty quickly. If I had to take a good old educated guess. Especially because of what Zhao was saying. And then Cloud Retainer was also talking about something bad happening. So something's coming from the sea. Makes me think back to when the original Jade Chamber got smashed. Thing got doomed a long time ago. And imagine we go through all this trouble just for the Jade Chamber to get doomed again. All of that work for nothing. That'd be unfortunate. <laughs> be very unfortunate. Damn, this is just a bunch of freaking planks and crap. Alright, here we are. Ning Guang's little secretary! We found all the materials! Mm-hmm. Oh, already? Already. All three of you found them together. Okay, I see. The Wonder Clores and Adepti Sigils look good. It seems that we found our winners. Let's go. I hereby announce that the winners of this material procurement contest are the Traveler, Yunjin, and Beidou. Mm -hmm. What? It's over already? I haven't even found the plus strike yet. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Uh, so close, but so far. I'd like to invite our three winners to please proceed to the Jade Chamber, where Lady Ningguang is waiting for you. Hell yeah. Huh? Where's Beidou? She was right here! That's a great question. Is she already in there? Captain Beidou has some business to attend to. She will join later. Some Please business. Come with me for some now. business. Alright hmm. then. Guess we'll head on up to the Jade Chamber first. I guess. This has been a long time coming. The last time we went up to the Jade Chamber was ages ago. Way too long ago. Well, we're getting led to the Jade Chamber. Let's do it. Ah, yes, Ningguang. Hello. Combine the Adepti sigils with the Wonder Cores and insert them into the Jade Chamber's control compartment. The construction of the new Jade Chamber is now officially complete. Once the tethers are released, it will soar into the sky. I don't think we're going to be in the sky too long. Thank you all for your work. Now it is time for me to fulfill my promise. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Miss Yun, I've already heard something about the reason for your involvement. You are looking for a venue for your new opera, aren't you? That's right. Lady Ningguang, I would like to hear your opinion. The unveiling of Miss Yun's grand new opera surely requires a venue of equal grandeur. So what would you say if I proposed that we stage your first performance right here? In the newly built Jade Chamber. You gonna be making money. The Jade Chamber offers a splendid panoramic view of the mountains and the bustling city. It is fitting for the finest performance to be hosted in the heavens. I can think of no better stage for you than here, Miss Yun. Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Then I will prepare my props and other articles shortly. Please allow me to bring all these aboard the Jade Chamber. Sheesh. You're quite welcome. 
It's truly what a good opera deserves. Oh, the Traveler, Shenha, Paimon, I'll be leaving now. Do come and see my play when the time comes. Good meeting you. You're next. What is your question? Mm. I should clarify. I do not know your sister's whereabouts. Please. Well, this was useless for us. What am I supposed to ask you? No, Paimon, you don't get to ask a question. No, 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 no. Managing a successful business is not as simple as you might think. Capital, connections, sensitivity to the trends. She already knew what we were going to ask. We wasted our time. What the hell? If you want to know how to make money, I will honor our agreement and give you an answer. But that is not to say that it will work for you. Can we, can I, can I ask a different question then? Wow. Paimon hadn't even asked the question. Just let me ask a question. Your question was written all over your face. Now look, you helped me rebuild the Jade Chamber, and I intend to repay you handsomely for it. Okay. So I promise you that should you one day require financial assistance, you may seek employment here. I will pay you at the highest rate of remuneration. I ain't trying to work over here. I guess. No more questions from us. Shenha, you got a question? Me? Yes, this is a group effort. Thank you, but I don't have anything to ask. Are you sure? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'd urge you not to squander it. Yeah, just don't waste it. Uh, hold on a second. Come on now. Come on, shut up. Come on, shut up. Come on, shut up. Lady Ningguang. Do you think I can ever fit in in Liyue Harbor? Now that is an interesting question. Liyue Harbor is very inclusive. As long as you respect the rules here, you will not be turned away. So, the key is whether or not you yourself can develop a sense of belonging in Liyue Harbor. Huh. A sense of belonging? Yes. To become fond of a place, to feel part of it. It always requires a reason. Perhaps someone you've met, or something you've experienced here. Or perhaps you enjoy the atmosphere of Liyue, and you will become accustomed to it. In short, everyone needs a reason to stay. I hope you can find yours soon. Hmm. Oh, I see. Hey, what's going on? I just went to see the fleet a little later than expected. You don't say. Come on, Beto! It's your turn! Do you have a question for Ningguang? Me? Nah, I ain't got any questions. She forced me to help out, so I figured <laughs> I may as well get involved with the contest. Um, sleep. Ningguang, don't forget what we talked about. It's not gonna be easy to deal with. I don't think my fleet can take it on their own. Don't worry. I have made preparations. The wound dressings are ready, and the Millilith have set up an ambush. Mm. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Watch your back. Stay alert. Beto? Ningguang? What are you talking about? What the freaking cloud retainer and Zhao were talking see about. see when the Jade Chamber ascends. However, it's not the most pleasant topic of conversation. Maybe it's better that you don't know. Don't you think it would be good to tell the Traveler who helped you the first time when chaos was happening? And I fought multiple other types of enemies? You don't think it's a good idea to tell me? When I first set foot in the Jade Chamber, I stood at the edge of the platform and looked down upon Liyue Harbor far below. At that time, I dreamed that one day the Jade Chamber's shadow would be seen in all seven nations of Tevat. My wish has not changed to this very day. However, it is not only out of consideration for myself that I have built the Jade Chamber anew at this time. I hope the Jade Chamber will always float in the skies above Liyue Harbor bearing witness to the prosperity and peace of the human world. And I hope that you can all witness it with me. Let the Ascension Ceremony commence! Alright. The moment we've been waiting for. Get this bad boy up there. Oh my god. The Jade Chamber. Finally. Well, things got dark extremely fast. You see, I was waiting for something bad to happen. 
what the hell is coming out? Oh, boy. Yeah, here we go. Uh, here we go. You know, so, yeah, this is what you were talking about. This is what Zhao was talking about. Cloud Retainer was talking about. Yep, yep. We could never just build this thing in peace. Beist? Osile's wife. Final follower of the Overlord of the Vortex. Sounds like you knew this was coming! Obviously! Beto sensed something was stirring in the deep. She warned me months ago. Knowing she harbors hatred toward the Jade Chamber, I chose to rebuild it now as a way of drawing her out. Smart. Got it. So now we gotta make sure this thing doesn't get destroyed and no. kill this thing, eh? In this human age, the people of Liyua must find a way to overcome this crisis on our strength alone. Damn, you ready, huh? You pop it off. Oh, damn, Kaching was just chilling here? With Ganyu and everything? They had all of this planned and they didn't even ask for our help except to rebuild the chamber, huh? They popping off. Dang, Beto got that ship. Well, they are beating the hell out of her. Man, you screeching, my guy. I see, I see you. Oh, Lord. That is a lot of what? Not again! What's that? Wait, a giant wave. We need some backup. Where's Zhao at? Yo, Zhao, can you make a force field or something? Because the Jade Chamber, we're about to get clapped. We're about to hit this thing with a dull blade. Ah, dull blade, boy! Oh, damn. Damn! Oh, damn, we got bodied. Oh, we got bodied. Oh, Shenhua. Well, yeah, thanks. You see, it was a matter of time before the dull blade didn't do crap. You are a cursed child. Your life brings nothing but disaster to us all. At least if you die, I can bring her back. Oh, yeah, this the day you learn how to mess. use your strength for the good of others. Is the day that you can truly become part of human society. Damn. That childhood hitting her right now. She is about to go berserk. But I feel like I'm watching Frozen. Well, Jade Chamber ain't going to hell this time. Fire! Well, R.I.P. You about to get body. Damn, okay, she just jumped straight in there. What the hell? She went straight in. Di oh! What are you doing here? We can't let you be the only one taking this risk. Let's do it. Why does this thing have so I little health now? Was it because of risk. them just bodying it before? Oh well shoot! Prepared. And she is already badly injured. Only sheer Come here! Keeping her alive. I may be nearing the Oh god! Stigma, but in a fight no! Death, Leave me alone! I think I have the upper hand. Kachin getting there. Okay, we oh we ain't doing crap. Uh where where you at, buddy? Wow, this is beautiful. Let me just say. But where wh where'd you go, buddy? You there? Oh. Oh damn, you you look like you just ate Zongli's pillar. I know it was going away anyways, but that legit made it look like you ate that thing. Okay, why are we using water against water? What the what 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 are we doing? I thought I switched to freaking Shenhu. Ah, you got three heads there. Very nice, very nice. Uh, come down. No. You are not gonna hit me with that. I need you to try to bite me. 
Okay, I know that sounds weird, but if you could just appear and do that, that would be that'd be great. Ah, there we go. Nice little picture. Yeah. All right, come here. There we go. Maybe I should have. Hu Tao, don't die. <laughs> I had to pop that. Oh, Hu Tao is about to get smushed. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, this ain't that bad. We're fine. Look, I can just sit here. I'm chilling. Where are you at? Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, let me stop messing around with you. Come here. Yeah, you can take this Zong Li pillar real quick. Yeah, where the hell is Zong Li now that I think about it? I haven't even seen him in this mission. He said, yeah, uh, you know, I retired. F Liu, you know. Come on! Shen Hua. Just keep cracking them. And there we have it. Mission complete. This place is unstable. It is too risky to continue pursuing her. Huh. If the place. Are you okay? I'm just a little exhausted. Otherwise, fine. Well, that was pretty crazy. I wanted to deal with it myself. I didn't expect you to follow me. Hmm. Don't worry. She's not coming back anytime soon. After an injury like that, she'll likely seek refuge somewhere else. Okay. How did things go underwater? It was cool. Very nice, very nice. Felt like I was at an aquarium. It's been dealt with. She was injured before entering the water. It didn't take too much effort to finish the job. Good. So the crisis has been safely averted. When you visit the Jade Chamber in the future, you will be afforded generous treatment. Thank you. Lady Ningguang, the fleet reports that the sea monster has left Guyan Stone Forest and the surrounding waters have returned to normal. Hail ye. Yeah. Thank you. How are the Mililith? Thanks to the medical supplies you prepared and Lady Keqing's command, our losses were minimal. Good to know. Of course, we owe huge thanks to this young lady for her help. On behalf of the entire Mililith, thank you for your service. I... Okay, just like the hero in the story. Great. Then next time I watch Miss Yun's opera, I'll be able to take the compliments. <laughs> yeah, you will. I wasn't trying to be a hero, though. I just wanted to protect you. Let the soldiers recuperate, but don't let your guard down. If she returns with a vengeance, we must be prepared. Yes, ma'am. You've been monitoring us for some time now. I trust you've reached a conclusion. We did a good job, right? <laughs> you wish to hear one's opinion. Well, things would have hardly gone so smoothly had it not been for Shen he. Hey, it still went smoothly, didn't it? That I do not deny. However, final victory was always going to be ours, even had things been a little more arduous. You see, my dull blade, it just wasn't enough this time. I got smacked around. If it came to it, I could always destroy another Jade Chamber. Mm. One has observed your adaptation of the Guizhong Ballista, and find oneself compelled to admit that you have evidenced some degree of novel thinking. You have learned from past failures and prepared for this crisis in advance. This is considerable progress compared to the last time. Thank you. Hence, on balance, one finds your performance during this trial satisfactory enough. But there will no doubt be further trials to come in the future. Do not suppose that one will not continue observing you hereafter. While the position of Tianjuan remains mine, I will always ensure Liyue's safety. Shen he. One saw you secretly venture out from the mountains a few years ago. And noticed the air of dejection in which you returned. Hopefully this trip to Liyue Harbor has been a different experience. Yes. I can't explain it, but I feel happier than I expected. Hmm. Good. Traveler, please take good care of Shen he. She is a dear child. Of course. In fact, one has many fond memories of Shen he's childhood that she may be interested to hear about. Mm. There'll be no need for that. Oh. Hmm. They are all like this. <laughs> Fine. Since you care not to listen, 
One shan't be telling you. <laughs> like, but like a freaking parent, dude. Now. Please, have a good. I was rest. so freaking Come awkward. Come to the Jade Chamber when you have recovered your energy. We must celebrate both the completion of the Jade Chamber and the fact that Liyue has weathered another crisis. This banquet must be the most spectacular ever. Yes, yes. Head to the Jade Chamber to take part in the Victory Feast. Ah, uh, yes. Finally. The Jade Chamber's back. I thought they were all dancing for a second. I was like, what the hell? Whew. Amazing. All of you here are what my food? distinguished guests. You see food? I am determined that each of you thoroughly enjoys yourself. Those who don't drink alcohol, please help yourself to yeah. other beverages. You got a icy orange? Fine wine is a delight to the senses, but it is far from the only one. I trust you will find the marvelous view from the Jade Chamber to be an equally gratifying indulgence. Have you heard? Miss Yun's going to be performing today. Sure have. Honestly, it's the main reason I'm here. I've never missed any of Ms. Yun's performances, and I don't intend to start now. I hear she's going to perform The Divine Damsel of Devastation today, the one written by her father. I've been so excited that I've barely slept the last few nights. Hmm. Hey, look! Ms. Yun is going on stage! Oh, here we go. She about to kill it. Do your thing. Now we just get to sit back and enjoy. This is beautiful. Okay. going crazy. Ah, she's adding the new parts of the story. But this is just seriously beautiful, though. Yeah, that was beautiful. Get a, get a good round of applause. That was good. That was really good. Yeah, you, you did you did your thing. It was wonderful. Also, 
Thank you. Hmm. You're welcome. Thanks to you, the Divine Damsel of Devastation is a more nuanced tale than ever. The play has an ending, but life goes on. I believe you will find a way to fit in in Liyue Harbor. Thank you. Oh, I think I've found the opportunity I needed to change. Ms. Yun! <laughs> Here you <laughs> this are. new drunk. Great to see you! Huh? Hey, this young lady with the white hair looks like some kind of VIP. Yeah, that's it, like an adeptus. Wait, you're the girl from the opera, aren't you? The divine damsel herself. And look who else we have here, the illustrious traveler. Well, I'll be. My right, guy, drunk as hell. Showing up for. Let me pull up a chair, all right. Oh, no. We'll all have no. A friendly chat. Don't pull up a chair. Get you don't need to pull up a chair. You smell like white claws. <sighs> Alternatively, you could leave us alone. That is, if you'd prefer to finish your drink via the orifice of your own choice. Mm. Uh-oh. This feels all too familiar. Shen was back to her old self again. I don't blame her, but it seems she still has a long way to go. Hey, what are you doing? Calm down, Shen. She about to be on demon huh? time. <laughs> and that's that. Imagine she throws him off the jade chamber. Get your ass. <laughs> <laughs> but there we have. <laughs> oh, no, that was good. That was a good Archon quest. I enjoyed it. Hey, here we are. Back in the Jade Chamber in the end. Ain't that nice? Take a little seat. Get a little picture, you know? But yeah, um, you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. It helps out very, very much. This was cool. This was very... It was very fun. Oh god, I almost fell off this thing. It was very fun. And I'm curious to see where the story for the game goes next. But Shenhua, I really like as a character. I enjoyed the character development. And it's cool to see that, you know, she's still going to be sort of emotionless in a sense, you know? But there is still character development at the end of the day. But this was, this was nice. Very, very nice. But other than that, appreciate y'all for watching. Love y'all. Stay safe. And as I always say, don't do crack. Be sure to subscribe to the Special K Experience if you enjoyed this video. If not, you're going to Femboy IHOP.